Summary for Playgirls are and are not divas. While playgirls are advocating a bachelorette lifestyle, they drive their men insane, ravishing in vain glory through naughty girl roles. To prevent naughty girl roles from increasing, younger females need to hear less about prostitution and more about marriage to value responsible leadership. It advances the female sex drive and can lead to pressure to perform all while, the males are being taught to work a legal job before maturity. With more people creating quotes like sisters before pimps, are you a thought or side chick, it doesn't encourage compassion, engagements, love, or marriage. Paying to play doesn't just affect gals who are cougars or sugar mamas, it affects the entire world on any given basis. When people separate themselves from truths to do evil this is because mother nature can change human habitat at little or no notice, and womankind can change their wicked ways concerning God. So, don't blame God because the world is becoming more susceptible to unrighteousness. These are the reasons why most playgirls are living to die rather than, dying to live. And why God admires the humble and meek spiritually untamed people, they acknowledge how and when to add length and value to anyone's life. Playgirls don't have to pretend to be a vampire devouring human souls, they can make a difference in people's lives are already weak and worry. And obviously, the playgirl mentality will never end according to the beginning of time whether life for them becomes more heavenly or not but it can decrease. Prayers, Repentance, and Thanks Most of us have one or more requests to pray for or expressions of thanks, such as abilities, blessings, forgiveness, healing, immorality, overcoming, peace, protection, strength, etc. Prayers are the first steps to showing God that you want mercy over your life. There are many things we can praise, pray, repent and give thanks for. But for God, we give and glorify all things, because things are possible with His guidance. And so, when you feel worthy of special needs, pray to God asking Him for that need. When you acknowledge remorse of the immorality, ask God's forgiveness and don't commit that same sin again. When you pray for others, it is okay to pray to God with or without that person. When you achieve a victory or have praise thank God. Below are prayers for players that can be used daily. After praying, rejoice unto God and glory for the things He has blessed you with. A prayer for salvation and deliverance, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I made some unrighteous choices that have created webs of destruction for myself and others. I ask for deliverance and salvation rather than, remaining in the same old trial test story. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. And I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all man and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for understanding the biblical knowledge, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I am a playgirl who hasn't taken in biblical knowledge. I want to understand the biblical knowledge and to let go of selfish pride, help me see opportunities from your signs and wonders without hesitation. I ask to face fears, financial uncertainties, experience life fullest, live throughout elderly ages, and stand for truths. I ask for help avoiding terrorist attacks. I want to embrace eternal connections your word facilitates, become spiritually mature in your words of wisdom, dare to impact for the higher righteousness, and remain devoted. I ask the judgment of death on my life be nullified. I ask for the universal natural unlimited resurrection, to become a victorious overcomer in the victory through Jesus. I ask to overcome addictions and failure. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. And I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all man and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for basing success upon God's standards, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I haven't compared success with your standards. I ask for guidance basing my success upon your standards. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask forgiveness of my sins, along with guidance throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. And I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all man and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for playgirls to embrace politeness, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I am a playgirl who hasn't embraced politeness, and I exercised self-centered pride in place of it. I ask to learn politeness. I ask for guidance, I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. And I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all man and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for playgirls to have gratitude, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I am a playgirl that hasn't been grateful for the things of this world. I ask for the ability to visualize gratefulness from your perspective. Also, I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. 
I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. And I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all man and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for dignity, Father God, my character of becoming a righteous supernatural human has been distorted. I ask for dignity in my walk with you, let the dignity flow like water through and around me. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. And I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all man and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for playing naughty girl roles, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I have exercised excessive lust of the flesh defiling my body with multiple relations. I vow not to go committing the sin ever again. I ask for guidance acknowledging exercising greed of any kind does need overcome. I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all men and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for sex addiction, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I wallow in my sex addiction with excessive behavior. I vow not to go committing the sin ever again. I ask to overcome the devil's flesh. I ask you to send someone into my life the relationship is to last an eternity. I ask for guidance acknowledging exercising greed of any kind needs overcome. I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all men and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for infidelity in a marriage, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I have committed infidelity in my marriage. I vow not to go committing the sin ever again. I ask to get through the adulterous behavior and influence this has had on me and my spouse. I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all men and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for an eternal relationship, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience and haven't acknowledged a closer walk with you. I ask you to connect me with someone the marriage or relationship is to last an eternity. One both can acknowledge who would make the best leader. One with a fruitful concept, where it helps fulfill our eternal destiny with grace and truth. One both can acknowledge each other feelings daily. One both can base success on your standards. One both can acknowledge, to love requires forgiveness and forgiving require love. One both can embrace politeness. One can exercise faith, where it is honorable with dignity. One both can celebrate the things that have been overcome by acknowledging, the living sacrifices made. One allows both to smile. One can become manageable and doesn't fall apart with fear of struggles. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. Also, I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all men and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for strengthening bonds of communication, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I have broken bonds of communication by exercising my disobedient character when I didn't want my immoral character to be checked. I ask to strengthen bonds of communication through communities on an individual basis. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask forgiveness of my sins, along with guidance throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. And I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all men and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for getting a selfish point across, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I have valued getting a selfish point across rather than, walking through my emotional walk with you. I ask you to acknowledge when to research topics of interest, to have facts line up with your word. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. And I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all men and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for honoring self or others as a high authority, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I have honored myself or others as a high authority rather than, acknowledging you as authority overall. I vow not to go committing the sin ever again. I ask for the ability to value biblical knowledge and you as the highest authority. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. 
and I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all man and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for preparations for an afterlife, Father God, we haven't been forgiving, we haven't acknowledged an afterlife requires preparations. I ask for the ability to find new unique ways of embracing ceremonies a symbolic nature for an afterlife. I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask you to give us peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help us to acknowledge the good in all men and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for materialistic gals, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I have exercised greed through material things for a sinful sacrifice and exercised self-centered, stubbornness, and greed. I vow not to go back pretending I need material objects over life itself ever again. I ask for guidance acknowledging exercising greed of any kind does need overcome. I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for homosexual and transgender gays, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I abused myself with the same gender with increasing lusts of the flesh. I vow not to go committing the sin ever again. I ask for guidance acknowledging exercising greed of any kind does need overcome. I ask for guidance in whatever direction you will have me go from this day on. I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for overcoming being a prostitute, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I extracted money and illegal things with envy and strife without considering the consequences of critical circumstances. I have lusted after fleshly desires intensely. I have helped defiled my flesh, dignity, and rights to pursue financial freedom and education certainties. I vow not to go committing the sin ever again. I ask for guidance acknowledging exercising greed and lust of any kind does need overcome. I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for overcoming being an escort service, stripper, or topless bar female, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I have extracted money and illegal things with envy and strife without considering the consequences of critical circumstances. I lusted after fleshly desires intensely, I helped defiled my flesh rather than seeking a righteous victory. I ask you to open my mind to acknowledge exercising greed and lusts of any kind does need overcome. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. I ask forgiveness of my sins, along with guidance throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. Also, I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all men and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for overcoming overeating, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I have obtained food excessively to nullify my fears rather than facing them. I didn't consider overeating a sin when I could have spent the money wisely. I ask for the ability to overcome overeating disorder and choose foods wisely. I ask for guidance acknowledging exercising greed of any kind does need overcome. I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all womankind. Thank you, Father. Rhymes for playgirls are and are not divas. I understand poetry but rhymes are new to me. These are the characters playgirls use daily, the path they can take, and why. I am sure playgirls will acknowledge how to walk the journey through Christ much better. Yet no playgirl is perfect still the journey is carefree. Though in the beginning, no gal values a perfect type of guy. And obviously, they ought to value an eternal mate. Any of the rhymes are supposed to be set at a fast pace. Bougie gals aren't your average type of gal, most guys value them over average gals, most are well kept, but stubborn gals. The aggressive nature of bougie gals, is followed by high maintenance guys, who bring high end necessities. You can tame the young bougie gal into a righteous gal. But don't subject her to isolation phases or you will become a part of the doggy dog world. Why not believe God will enable all things, he acknowledged a need for forgiveness. Why not believe God will enable all things, he gives us eternal life through resurrection. Why not believe God will enable all things, he acknowledged a need to become angels before marriage. Why not believe God will enable all things, he came so we can have life more abundantly.
Why not believe God will enable all things, he allows us to rejoice with him during the end times. Why not believe God will enable all things, his power over earth and heaven justify our need for redemption throughout the enemy's influence. Why not believe God will enable all things, he communicates with us through his signs and wonders. Why not believe God will enable all things, he acknowledged our need for eternal guidance from daily webs of destruction and violence. Why not believe God will enable all things, he believed we ought to honor life becoming righteous through fruitful actions and sacrifices. Why not believe God will enable all things. If you don't acknowledge a materialistic gal is motivated by the number of gifts she receives, you probably won't remain in her preferred redial. If you don't buy a materialistic gal brand label she prefers, Christian Louboutin, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Gucci, or Prada. You probably won't remain in her preferred redial. If you don't acknowledge a materialistic gal want the gifts to be seen at elaborate presentation parties with family or friends. You probably won't remain in her preferred redial. If you don't acknowledge a materialistic gal's need to not rock a low-maintenance lifestyle, you probably won't remain in her preferred redial. If you don't acknowledge a materialistic gal know the highs and lows of getting gifts, or she rather be seen at over-the-top anniversaries, birthdays, holidays, red carpet events, special groupings even weddings. You probably won't remain in her preferred redial. If you don't acknowledge a materialistic gal have mastered the art of being seen all while posing for cameras or selfies. You probably won't remain in her preferred redial. If you don't want a materialistic gal who wears a weave with her hairstylist on redial. You probably won't remain in her preferred redial. If you can't afford to take a materialistic gal to the spa and high-end restaurants with savory meals. You probably won't remain in her preferred redial. Playgirls honor their body and soul playing naughty girl roles, playgirls rather not rock traditional roles. Playgirls will wear the pants in a relationship, playgirls force, guys, into wearing the dress. Playgirls embody a cold-hearted personification daily, Playgirls aren't content with what they have. Playgirls reveal the greatest intent of naughty girl roles, playgirls need to lead followers in a righteous direction. Honor your sisters before pimps they won't embody a fruitful lifestyle in front of the kids. You can't take them home to parents, they tend to honor self-righteousness first. Sisters before pimps, is because pimps honor prostitution as a tradition, though they tend not to have respect for people of authority. Sisters before pimps, they need to pay their share of taxes, though they tend not to want the elephant in the room of fear to be addressed. They don't embody a gentle swagger guy mentality, though they tend to use gals daily. Sisters before pimps they defile these gals, though they tend not to acknowledge the harsh circumstance these gals face. They rather not achieve financial freedom through education, though they tend to be older players. Sisters before pimps, they dress in lavish clothes, though they tend not to keep a regular job. They rather use gals for high-end cars, homes, jewelry, and restaurants along with VIP club memberships. Sisters before pimps, they take these gals to places like strip clubs and topless bars, though, many of them tend not to own a house. It is a doggy dog world this refers to health, not wealth. It is a doggy dog world, most will lead you to cheat on your spouse without visualizing STDs probability. It is a doggy dog world, most people have cancers and diseases than ever before. It is a doggy dog world, crime fiction thriller novels with violence against gals are increasing. It is a doggy dog world, most players and playgirls don't acknowledge a need to become a husbandman or wife. It is a doggy dog world, too many kids today are suffering through eternal phases of calamity. It is a doggy dog world, too many people today justify their sinful actions with self-righteousness. It's a doggy dog world too many non-believers blame God for the trial tests they face. It is a doggy dog world once you acknowledge standing in the easy yoke with Christ, you eliminate most sufferings through the doggy dog world. Naughty girl roles are for playgirls, they take any role to a drastic level. Let's see why. There are naughty clothes, naughty girls along with naughty girl roles. Most naughty girls don't remain married naughty girls rather not respect the father in heaven. Naughty girl roles ought to be for married couples, but too many prefer a naughty girl. It's the haughtiness of a girl, wicked people of the world like most. Naughty girl roles are for any group of people now. Naughty girl roles translates to haughty girl roles, something God the father in heaven despises. Remarkably naughty girl roles can be reversed into respectable girl roles.